Hello everyone! Today I want to show you how you make a complex window. Like not the normal type, more like the kind with different patterns and stuff. So the trick behind it is to use a blueprint pencil and make copies of your windows you already built, as you can see here. You save them when you go to the window or to the blueprint pencil and press circle, the button prompt which shows up when you go to the, the end point or the start point. And I know, I know, this is kind of unnecessary what I do right now. <laughs> to build the window, the first window, from a blueprint, uh, yeah, from blueprint. Because I could already also build it just like this. But it's, to give you an idea, it's, uh, it's reasonable. So, because this is a church window, I want to make a nice cross ornament. So, and now I show you what you shouldn't do. <laughs> of course, you can take smaller windows and place them by hand so they don't connect. But the trick behind doing a very complex window is to build the window from the inside to the outside. You will see later. So I'm, now I'm copying the next part, which is the bottom left of the cross. You always need to put something below it so it can stand on its own. And now we just finish the plan. And always be careful when you destroy blocks where you're standing on. Always make sure you have kind of an angle outside, uh, facing away from the window, so you don't destroy any of the windows itself. And what you can see here, once you build a window blueprint right next to one that has already been created, it expands. So you always have to keep this in mind. And now I'm trying something. What will happen with the smaller windows when I create the plan right next to it? Normally all the windows right next to the plan will connect. We will see if this is the case. Now I'm making a new copy of my plan. Just push the plus button on switch or the touchpad on the PlayStation 4, then it will create a new plan for you in the inventory. As you can see, it connects. And you can use it to your advantage. So if you have some kind of ornament in mind which you want to create for a, a big window, just keep in mind, everything you build will connect the other windows surrounding it. So let's make some room. So we have 
room to work. And now we will create the next window template. And this is also important, always make sure to build the window from the same angle. Like me, I'm always standing at the... Yeah, what you call it? The east side. And I create all windows from there. Also, when you put down windows and place them with the gloves, you need to make sure... I think that you're facing left. Because otherwise, t windows have two sides. They have one brighter milkier side and one more transparent side and right now I'm building with the more transparent side yeah so now we have the bottom of the window finished now we create the top parts uh, the way you can see if the window is milky or transparent is um, Go into first-person perspective and then look at the window. If it has like a little animation to the window that it goes in and out, out of the window, you will see it at the f uh, window frame, then it's a milky side. If it doesn't have that animation, it's a transparent side. So the other windows just play out the same. Maybe it's good to give you a feel for it, to give you an idea. Because later I will change quite a few things. And the next one. I always place one block away from the plan, so I can place it down. Because you need to have two blocks of distance to place it. So now, the main window is almost finished. But now we'll give it some more little windows around it. To give it a nice frame. Hmm. Let's first do the top part. And see, I'm always a bit on the edge, on the outer edge, so I don't hit the windows. Because you don't want to hit one of those windows now, because otherwise you can <laughs> almost start over completely. <laughs> Very careful. Of course, I always talk with my Kimi because he's in the way when I try to change my tools. Uh, but I wanted to talk to him, I want to see if he's well. finish the bottom part and then we take a look at it. Ah. Uh, I'm not quite satisfied, but it looks good. But let's try it this way. So with this trick you can create a bigger window, like it's still only one block in size, but it has no frame, only the frames surrounding it. Just take the gloves, pull out the window and put it back in. 
Oops. Ah, good thing. <laughs> it doesn't matter that this <laughs> was the wrong window. <laughs> so now let's destroy everything and take a look. Ghostbusters! Oh, if you didn't know, uh, part 3 has been announced of Ghostbusters. With Bill Murray and the other crew as well, I think. And here you can take a look at the church, what it looks so far. I get to change a few things. Gave it more decorations. And changed the pitch of the roof, the main roof. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Garsh. <laughs> That's what it looked like before. So you can even try some color differentiations. But if you use the bucket, the paint bucket, to color windows, you only change the windows <coughs> which are singular, so which haven't been brought to shape. <coughs> We need to still change a few things. So we'll make the main cross a bit smaller. And here you need to be careful not to take out the <laughs> wrong window. Ah, like a pro. So, let's take a look from the distance. Hmm... Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, this was my video for you on how to create a more complex window. I hope you liked it and learned a bit. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. You know the drill. A uh, thumbs up really helps for me. And yeah, I'll see you again next time. So, bye!